Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going through the conditional access in Enable FMA, uh, MFA, multi-factor authentication for conditional access. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch off uh, Chrome and go to portal.office.com. I'm going to administration or admin. I want to click on admin center. I'm going to click on Intune. So if you want to enable a conditional access that requires user to authenticate um, with the um, multi-factor authentication, just say if a user log into Office Portal from an off-site computer or from their home PC, and you want to make sure they, uh, you want to make sure multi-factor authentication is enabled when they're not on computers or companies network. So in order to do that, you need to go into conditional access. I'm going to create a new policy. Let's call this um, condition no access MFA. So this one is going to require MFA multi-factor authentication when they log in. Uh, enter the name. Assignment group, do you want to target the groups? So in this case, I'm just going to select my test group. My test group is called Intune Tests. Oops. Intune Test Group. Select that and click OK. Click Done. Cloud Apps. For Cloud App, you want to choose the apps that you want that require that you want to enable and require multi-factor authentication when they're not on the network. So in this case, just for testing, um, I'm going to choose Teams. Choose Exchange Online, SharePoint, and hmm. let's go to Forms. All right, and click Select. So when the user try to access these applications from from an internet computers, they're going to have to enter the. They're going to have to authenticate by uh, using the MFA feature, multi-factor authentication. Click done. Access control. I want to click grant. Grant access, you want to make sure you select this. Require multi-factor authentication. And if you want to require that computers to be joined to Azure, you want to check this one. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'll cover this one in the next video. So. I'm going to select just one right now for multi-factor authentication and I click select. Make sure you enable the policy. Session control or sessions. I'm not going to enable this. You can enable it and set up the um, cloud application security um, Secure features. In this case, I'm not going to do that. Let's 
So you want to make sure you enable the policy. Click on create. So that's how you create a conditional access that required user to authenticate using MFA. And if they are, if their computers is not on the network. Oops, I forgot to configure one more thing. Let's go back to conditional access MFA. Access control. So you have to configure the location. So if they are located in the all, any location or all trusted location, I'm going to choose any location and exclude all trusted location. So that means they are not on the company's network. They're going to rec it's going to require them to enable uh, to uh, authenticate using um, MFA. All trusted location. That's all the company's network that I configured already. I based on IP subnets. Click on done. Click on done. And click on save. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.